Hello, and welcome to Heifer Ranch, located in Perryville, Arkansas. We are a 1,200-acre working ranch and home to Heifer International USA. We practice regenerative and sustainable farming techniques while providing educational and market opportunities for small-scale farmers. In today's video, we are going to look at highlights of ranch activities during the month of August, with a special focus on all things new. As we continue to scale up our production, we've had new deliveries of cattle, chickens, turkeys, sheep, and pigs. And in our certified organic market garden, it's out with the old and in with the new, as fall crops are being planted for the cooler months ahead. We will also look at new technology and equipment, like this handling unit for weighing sheep, and this awesome looking device we are using to track detailed weather conditions in real time. Finally, we are welcoming new residential volunteers to the ranch and implementing new and innovative production techniques. So keep watching for all that and more. If you like what you see, please help support our work as a nonprofit organization by hitting that subscribe button. Let's check in on the sheep to see what new activities have been happening there. We recently welcomed the addition of three new breeding rams to the ranch. Two are Katahdins, a hair sheep breed loved by many small-scale farmers throughout the United States for their hardiness, adaptability, and innate parasite resistances. Heifer International has a rich history with the Katahdin breed, going back to the 1980s and helped found Katahdin Hair Sheep International in 1985 as a breeder's association and registry. We are excited to continue the tradition of raising Katahdins at Heifer Ranch, and in the spirit of this innovative history, we are also welcoming one new ram of the Dorper variety from Texas A&M University. Dorpers are primarily a mutton sheep that grow quickly and are a bit heftier than Katahdins. We will be breeding this ram with roughly one third of our flock with the hopes of producing a cross that exhibits the best traits of both breeds. To make sure our sheep are on the right track, we recently installed a new corral system from the Seidel Company and use it to weigh our flock once a month. This group of spring-born lambs are checking in to establish a baseline weight that will help us monitor progress and schedule processing dates. It will also help us determine which females are going to be large enough for breeding stock as we monitor their average daily gains and make sure they are on the right track. Rams aren't the only new additions to the ranch. Land steward and agriculture manager Donna Kilpatrick also welcomed 45 new steers that we sourced out of Missouri that are about a year old. After their journey, these steers were eager to get out on fresh pasture full of stockpiled fescue. They are acclimating well and will be 100% grass fed their entire lives. If you thought 45 steers was a lot of new arrivals, get a load of this batch of 3,200 chicks that just arrived hours after hatching to their new cozy home inside our state-of-the-art brooder facility. They come from the Keith Smith Company in Hot Springs, Arkansas. We start off by introducing them to a small sectioned off portion of the brooder for the first five days to ensure they find their food and water. After five days, we will open up another third of the total space to them and on the 10th day, as they reach large enough size, they will have access to the entire space. This sectioning off and expansion over time strategy is helping to reduce overall mortalities during the first week of production. This is our seventh of nine total batches that we will produce at Heifer Ranch this year. And after two weeks of living inside this brooder, they will be loaded up and taken out to fresh pasture. These chicks aren't the only birds newly arriving at Heifer Ranch. We also received 500 turkey poults from a hatchery in Virginia. This is our third and final batch of the year for turkeys, and Christine is excited to introduce them to our new brooder space that we set up at the beginning of the year specifically for turkey poults. She's using a new approach for Heifer Ranch with these poults by placing peat moss as ground covering instead of the pine shavings we've used in the past. Many small farms use peat moss for its superior absorption qualities and the poults won't try to consume it. It will also break down well for composting. Peat moss is more expensive than pine shavings, but in the end can lead to comparable profit margins due to these qualities. So far, they seem to be loving it. 
with plenty of food, water, and adequate heating and ventilation, this new brooder space is performing excellent. These poults will spend approximately four weeks in this space, designed for a graduated size expansion similar to what we are doing with the chicks. After four weeks, they will go out to fresh pasture until they are approximately 16 weeks old and be ready just in time for Christmas. You can order our turkeys and all of our other pasture-raised meats at grassrootscoop.com. Check the link in the description. Speaking of other pasture-raised meats, our final new livestock additions in August arrived in the form of 85 piglets from a farrowing operation in Missouri. These piglets arrived at our receiving area at approximately 60 pounds apiece, where they will spend the first two weeks getting acclimated to their feeding and watering equipment, small areas of pasture, electric fencing, and our livestock staff. So far, they are very well behaved and loving their new home. After two weeks, we will introduce them to their first full-size paddock. Livestock aren't the only new things at Heifer Ranch in August. The ground is also full of new growth as the relentless heat and dry summer months are beginning to dissipate with the first signs of rain. A welcomed relief supporting the growth of cover crops planted in our pastures, like this patch that consists of winter squash, pumpkins, sorghum sedan grass, and more. We're stockpiling these for the winter months ahead. In the garden, horticulture specialist Sean Becerra and our newest residential volunteer, Molly, have been taking out the first round of heirloom tomatoes and planting our third and final round for this season. Speaking of residential volunteers, if you are interested in living and learning with us here at Heifer Ranch, check us out on the web at the link in the description to learn more. Our volunteers help us with maintenance projects, livestock, and in the garden. In addition to the tomatoes, the crew has been transplanting around 12,000 brassica crops like cabbage, kale, and kohlrabi for the fall season. New lettuce and baby greens are going into the ground. New cucumbers are ready for harvest. And the first new winter squash are starting to appear in block one. The wet weather at the end of this month is making planting schedules difficult to maintain. But with persistence and determination, our crew will get it done just in time for the largest fall harvest season to date. Last but not least, check out this new and exciting bit of technology being implemented at Heifer Ranch. It's an all-in-one weather station designed from the Davis Systems Company that wirelessly transmits data in real time on rainfall, temperature, humidity, and wind conditions. It sends the information to a digital readout station located inside the office. With three additional sub-monitoring stations placed in the pastures throughout the ranch, this state-of-the-art system will help us track a tremendous amount of information. Ask any farmer and they will tell you that understanding weather conditions over time is critical to success. We are excited to deploy this new technology at Heifer Ranch. As you can see, there are a lot of new things happening at Heifer Ranch in August. Our staff and volunteer crew are doing an amazing job. Thanks so much for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel to support our work as a nonprofit organization. From the Heifer USA team at Heifer Ranch in Perryville, Arkansas, so long.